Hello everyone, this is Mark. How are you? I'm doing great. I hope you're doing great too. I finally redecorated my room. Really? She met her future husband at work. Did she? They don't appreciate your attitude. Is that right? She has won the spelling competition at school. Unbelievable! They found out he was cheating on his final exam. No way! In this lesson, we're going to look at how to show interest or surprise when making a statement. So stay tuned! How many times have you used really to show interest or surprise? Well, there are other ways to show surprise or interest. Let's look at them. I finally redecorated my room. Really? Well, this is the typical example that um, you use to show surprise. Really? As simple as that. Let's look at another example. Larry didn't show up for our appointment. Really? I wonder why. Yes, you can add, I wonder why, I wonder, I wonder, I ask myself why. How come is another way to say, to show surprise, which means why, right? How come, why? The next point that I want to show you is a method that you need to use all the tenses. So there, you need to review all the tenses to use this method. So let's look at the example, shall we? She met her future husband at work last month. Did she? Yes, that's right. Did she, in this case. Because we have a past simple sentence or statement. She met. Met is the past of the verb to meet. So, what is the auxiliary of the past simple? Well, did. Well, in order to use this method, we need a formula. The formula is auxiliary plus pronoun. In this case, we said she met her future husband at work last month. What tense is this? Yes, that's right. Past simple. Was the auxiliary of the past simple? Yes, that's right. Did. So did would be the auxiliary. And then the pronoun, she. Let's take a look at another example. He'll fall off the bike if you don't hold him steady. Will he? Right, so in this example, we have a future statement. He'll fall off the bike. He'll. He will. So the auxiliary is will. And then the pronoun in this case is he. We have other methods. For example, they don't appreciate your attitude. Is that right? Well, in this case, is that right? Could be a little bit sarcastic, right? But we can even say, oh yeah, really? So the intonation is very important here. So let's look at an, the same example with a different intonation. They don't appreciate your attitude. Is that right? As you heard in the example, we can have different intonation. So the intonation is really important here. Now, let's look at how to show surprise. So has won the spelling competition at school. Unbelievable! Yes, we have expressions such as unbelievable, wonderful, wow, and you can use them instead of really. Let's look at another example. Bob watched the whole series in just a day. Wow! Yes, this is another example and we can have wow as an exclamation of surprise. Now, let's look at other examples showing surprise. They found out he was cheating on his final exam. No way! Yes, we can have other expressions such as get out, I don't believe it, holy cow, oh my god, oh my gosh, as if, no kidding. These are all expressions that we can use to show surprise. Now, we have also expressions to show disappointment. Let's look at this example. We'll have to review 
all our grammar for next week's lesson. That sucks. Yes, I used a slang expression, that sucks. Or you can use no way, no way to show disappointment. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, or if you want to post your own example of showing interest or surprise, you may do so under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you want to share the lesson, you may do so. Having said that, have a great week and I see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.